To mitigate the cost of aggressive interactions, ants often avoid foraging near the heavily guarded nests of other colonies. When there is a permanent nest site, this establishes a territory. However, there are decreased benefits of defending a home range for species that move house a lot. One striking example of this are army ants. Highly nomadic army ants are dense predators in tropical forests, making intercolony collisions common. For this reason, army ant colonies are expected to avoid one another without engaging in highly aggressive territorial battles. Anecdotal evidence throughout the years has supported this, but exactly how these avoidances occur was unknown. We investigated how mass avoidance is achieved from the level of the individual to that of the group. On Barrow, Colorado Island in Panama, we introduced 100 non-nestmate army ants to foraging columns of other colonies and observed the result. In many cases, ants appeared to form living barriers composed of individuals that had stopped and faced non-nestmates in a threatening posture. This display was reciprocated by the opposing side, forming a double wall of ants where the two groups met. Individuals started and stopped posturing as a result of nestmate and non-nestmate contacts. Ants began posturing in response to higher non-nestmate collisions. Ants stopped posturing in response to a decrease in non-nestmate collisions and an increase in nestmate collisions. Together, these individual decisions constructed a transient barrier able to appear when needed and disappear quickly when unnecessary. However, species identity mattered. Conspecific colony fragments were accepted without walling, and subterranean Nomomyrmex as in Beckii defended its columns with outright fighting of the intruders. This suggests that walling may be a predominantly above-ground army ant behavioral adaptation. Furthermore, walling may not solely serve the purpose of helping army ants avoid one another. We observed colonies of Eseton burchellii in Costa Rica using walling to avoid interactions with leaf-cutting ants during nighttime emigrations. In either case, these ephemeral walls are different from preemptive walls, which can be seen in a variety of ants and termites. These collision-mitigating walls form and disappear only in the presence of a local stimulus and are not preemptive. Secondly, they appear to be formed by whatever colony members are nearby, not only defense specialist soldiers. Because avoidance walling in army ants is an easily observable and manipulable subroutine of foraging, further study has the potential to expand our understanding of related topics in collective behavior, including form control and self-assembly. As such, possible future applications for this work are interdisciplinary.